Hello guys, in this video we will see how to connect to PostgreSQL database in Visual Studio Code. Then we will see how to run the PostgreSQL queries on Visual Studio Code, that is VS Code. See here, I don't have the any database icon. Okay, so even if you right click, see here we don't have the option. We have to install the extensions. Click on extensions, then search for SQL tools. There must be no space between SQL and tools. See here, this is the one. Click on it. See, connecting users to many of the most commonly used database. We can connect to like MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server and many more. We can do the formatter of SQL code, query runner, history, connection explorer, generate insert queries, pluggable driver architecture. Okay. Supported databases are see here. We can get the see cockroach db maria db microsoft sql server mysql type db and postgresql sql light and we have many more okay so click on install see installation is success see here we have the sql tools icon if you want to remove it you have to click on it see it is gone again if you want to enable that option here see here we have now click on this SQL tools. Click on add new connection. See, you don't have drivers. So for that, now click on again extensions. Search for SQL tools. Let me increase bit. See here we have the SQL tools for PostgreSQL. See, we have the SQL tools for PostgreSQL cockroach driver. Okay, so we have to install this driver also so click on install see it is installing okay installation is success now click on now close this one click on the sql tools now click on add new connection see now we have the two drivers okay so click on postgresql here we have to provide the name for connection so postgresql is installed locally so i am giving local psql and connection group it can be anything i am not going to provide anything here it is optional but these the parameters with star must be filled and connect using we have the three options server and port socket file and connection string okay so i am going with server and port see server address is local host because i have installed process equal and local host or else you can give the ip open cmd IP config. See, this is the IP. You can give, copy this IP or you can give. On Linux also, you can get the IP by typing ifconf. You can give the even AWS RDS server address also. Even Azure fully qualified domain name also. We have to provide port number. Default port number is 5432. Then provide the database name. I have database after schools in my PostgreSQL server. And username Postgres. Then use the password. See, we have the four options. SQL tools, driver credentials, ask and connect, use empty password, save as in plain text in settings. I'm going with ask and connect. Okay. Remaining, I'm not going to change anything. Based on requirement like SSL, statement timed out, query timed out and other options. Okay. Ideal timeout, milliseconds. Max connections. Okay. Now click on test connection. Then see here we have to provide the password. I am giving password and hit enter. Connection refused because PostgreSQL services stopped. Go to services and verify. Services.msc then. See here this is the PostgreSQL server. See services stopped. Click on start. Now go back to VS Code. Now click on again test connection. See, successfully connected. Now click on save connection. Password not provided and this is the JSON file for the connection details. Okay. Now to run queries, you have to click on connect now or click on disconnect. Both are same. If you want to create another connection, you have to click on this create another. If you want to delete this connection, you have to click on this delete local PLSQL. That is 
the connection name. Okay. So click on connect now or click on connect. Both are same. Click on it. Again, it is asking password. Provide the password of the user. That is Postgres user. So we have successfully connected. See, we have the database, expand schemas, public schema, tables. See, I have these many tables. And this is the query history. Okay. Suppose let us verify data from EMP or student. Click on it, select the query, then click on this run active connection. See, I have this data. See, this is the output. Suppose if you want to see the list of the databases in this process equal, select that name from pg underscore database. Select the query and execute it. See, I have these many databases. Suppose if you want to create a table in this artist course, you have to run the command create table test123 R name where care select it. Then select the command and click on execute or right click and click on run the selected query. Both are same or simply use the control E. See, select it, then press Ctrl E from your keyboard. See, query executed successfully. See here, it is executed. Even if you refresh public schema, see here, we have the test 1, 2, 3. We have created the same. Even if you, you can verify, select star from test 1, 2, 3. Select it, right click it and run the selected query. See, no data found. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert into, or if you want to simply get the syntax, right click, get insert, see, in, generate insert query. See, we got there. This is the syntax and here we have to provide the values. So, I am giving James. Then select the query, right click, run the selected query query execution success and one row affected. So again select this query, run it, see we have the data. Okay, this is the column name. Even if you want to create user, you can create user. Create user James1 with password you James. Okay. Select Put semicolon at the end of the statement, right click, run the selected query. See, create successfully executed. If you want to verify the list of the users, select username from pg underscore user. Select it, right click. See, we have these many users. We have created this James user now. Okay. If you want to disconnect, you have to click on disconnect. Again, if you want to connect, you have to click on connect. Then you have to provide the password of the user Postgres and hit enter. See, we have successfully connected. And this is the query history. Here we have connected to Arthur's course database. If you want to connect another database, disconnect it. Again, right click, edit connection. Then here we have to give the other database. I have the DVD rental database. Then click on test connection. Then provide the password of the user. Hit enter. It is success. Click on save connection. Now click on the connect. See it is connecting. Close this one. See we have successfully connected. Expand expand schemas public see this time we don't have any tables okay so in this video we have seen how to connect to postgresql database in visual studio code then we have run postgresql queries in vs code for more postgresql and vs code videos please subscribe my channel thank you